What is going on everyone, this is Rossi and welcome to a new video from uh, from me obviously today. Now uh, this is my first video I've made since I've had, you know, changed my setup around a little bit. So, uh, well quite a bit actually, a, a lot of things have changed. And um, in a minute I need, probably need to move my mic a bit closer to the end of the desk. I'm sort of leaning over at a minute, but I think I'm getting there. So if you guys do want to buy all my team coins, check out UT Coin Trader in the description down below for a site you can trust. I'm going to go in. This is the forgotten Premier League team. Now I've done a few like uh, nationality teams, so English, um, you know, Italian and stuff like that. So what I'm going to be doing this episode is making a forgotten league team. So that's the players. Um, well, I think most of you will have maybe forgotten they were once in the Premier League, or maybe you never knew they were in the Premier League. Um, I've got the full statistics for you guys today. So we're going to go and have a look at the team. Uh, sorry if I cover up some of the players. Uh, you know, obviously I wanna, uh, don't just want to show you all the teams straight away. I want to I wanna go into it a little bit and uh, go individually. So, starting off in goal, Trevor Carson. Now, this guy used to play for Sunderland 2004 to 2012. Um, that's a lot, a lot, a lot of years, okay? And he didn't make a single appearance from. That's correct. He didn't make a single appearance in eight years for Sunderland. Um, he's now at Bury. He's been on loans, loads of different clubs and stuff, you know, since 2012. Um, but he's been at Sunderland. That's how long they've owned him for. And now he's got, finally got rid of him in 2012 to Bury. So um, that's an unfortunate career, that is, I suppose. That's not exactly the way he uh, planned it out. So this guy, this is not a forgotten footballer. Don't get me wrong. This guy's up there. Won the World Cups. He's won the things there is to win. But some of you guys may or may not know that he used to play for Man United 2004 to 2008, making 12 caps before he went on loan. And then he went to Barcelona in 2008. Um, yeah, not definitely not a forgotten footballer. But some of you guys may have actually forgotten... Um, I never knew actually he played for Man United. So this guy, um, so many clubs, it's ridiculous. But he's now uh, Middlesbrough. He was once at Stoke, Tottenham. Uh, he's once even Real Madrid. I know it's nothing to do with this episode. Uh, once at Leeds, once at Newcastle and stuff. So he's definitely been at quite a few Premier League clubs. And uh, I'm not sure if um, many of you guys really remember him. Um, some of you younger lot probably won't anyway. So this guy, um, Olof Melberg, used to play for Aston Villa for seven years, 2001 to 2008, making 232 appearances and eight goals for him. That's, uh, that's not a bad little career at Aston Villa, but you know he's been at quite a few clubs since Juventus, Olympiacos, Villarreal. He's now at Copenhagen. Um, so a lot of you guys may or may not know he was in the Premier League once upon a time. Yuri Zerkov, ex-Chelsea, 2009-2011. This one's a bit more recent, but, you know, his career didn't really pan out um, the way it was uh, supposed to. I think he was, uh, you know, dubbed to be quite a big boy for Chelsea. And he obviously went back to Russia after that when it didn't really work out for him, bless him. Um, he made, uh, what is it, 29 appearances for Chelsea within two years. Not amazing, but... Um, you know, that's pretty much why I went back to Russia. This is another modern one. He's not a forgotten... Well, I, I, I don't know, actually. I don't know. He had, um, what was it, seven years at Arsenal. Seven years at Arsenal. And he's now in the um, Brazilian League, Liga do Brazil at Sao Paulo. He went to them on loan. And then he signed from uh, properly this year, I believe. So, he's not... I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm still in the middle. This guy's only 25. He, you know, he did join Arsenal when he was a lot younger. Um, and now he's obviously only he was there for seven years, and he's only 25 now, so he's not done too bad. But um, I, I believe his career not really, didn't really turn out the way he wanted it to in the Premier League. And uh, some of you guys may have actually forgot he actually used to play for Arsenal, um, or maybe you've never even heard of him before because I don't know, I don't hear much of him now these days. This guy, this is going to be a bit interesting for you, Hugo Viana. <sighs> this guy's got a pretty good left foot on him. Uh, especially on FIFA, but he used to play for Newcastle between 2002 to 2005, making 39 appearances and two goals. Um, you know, and then I think they signed him when he was like 18 years old, and then he moved on. And now he's in the Qatar League or somewhere like that. So that's a forgotten footballer in the Premier League. I didn't know he's ever played in the Premier League, so that's a new one to me. Albert Riera used to play for Liverpool. Um, I think he was at Man City on loan as well at one stage. So he used to play for Liverpool. Was there for two years, making 40 appearances. Not too bad, but he's been at a couple of clubs clubs since Olympiacos and Galatasaray. So some of you guys may have forgot he actually used to play for Liverpool. Now this guy, me, of course, in the team, a Ross man, um, used to play for Man United between 2005 to 2007. Only making five appearances though, which is a shame. And actually, I was at one of the games. Uh, I was at one of the games he actually played. So you know, I got one of them five appearances. And 
under my belt. Not the one he scored in though, he only scored one goal for Man United. And then he went to Newcastle as well, but he's been at Parma, you know, Villarreal, and now he's at Fiorentina since, so um, his career's not exactly panned out. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to comment too much about what I don't really know a lot about. So this guy, Claudio Pizarro, the Peru uh, striker, he used to play for Chelsea 2009, 2007, 2009. Uh, they signed him from Bayern Munich. Um, and now he's back at Bayern Munich, actually. But um, yeah, he used to play for Chelsea, for some of you who didn't know. I, sli I do remember him vaguely. Uh, not too well, though. So he's definitely a bit of a forgotten footballer for me, personally. So this guy, Joe, used to play for Man City. 21 appearances in three years for him. Not very good. He was at Everton on loan twice. Then he's been at Galatasaray and, you know, a lot of other clubs. Been in the Russian League and stuff. So, um, for me, forgotten striker. Um, I think, yeah, definitely for me, forgotten striker in the Premier League. Um, so, yeah, guys, this is the forgotten Premier League team. Who do you think? Put it in the comment section down below. Who is there any player there that you didn't know absolutely used to play in the Premier League? Now, I have not a bad little Premier League knowledge, but Scott, the goalkeeper and the centre defensive mid, Hugo Vienna, I definitely did not know played in the Premier League before I made this video. Thank you for your suggestions on Twitter, guys. What league should I do next? I'll be looking at doing a BBVA or what we're doing. Uh, leave a like if you want to see another one of them, obviously. I had Rob in there as well. Uh, my bad because um, so a lot a couple of you said on Twitter put Robin in because he you know didn't people wouldn't remember he played for Chelsea, but I think um, there's a few more forgotten ones like Zerkov more forgotten about Chelsea player than Robin in my opinion. So going into the game then that's what's up. This guy has got um, what team has he got? A three five two Mexican league team. It looks of it. All right. You're looking pretty sick. That's a ex Fulham player, CDM there, the gold one. Um, Salcedo, I think, I believe. And they got Corona the beer in goal. Oh, it's a little finesse on this FIFA. Didn't expect that one then. Salcedo, the ex-Fulham boy, the CDM, managed to finesse it home for a 1-0 advantage against me in the 21st minute. That's actually a pretty egg-white sandwich. Not going to lie, he skipped that challenge there, and then PK couldn't block it. <sighs> Disaster. Can't believe that. I tackled him. I made a brilliant tackle and ah, that was a bit of a collision there by them two players. Brilliant. Uh, I want to see that again. Look, was that it? Oh, I can't remember, but ah, that's my goal. That's my bronze goalkeeper. Just fall it. Oh, do you know what? So it's two all at half. No, two nil. So at half time, it's the same old. I'm not defending too badly, but it's just up front. It's, it's just, I'm just lacking. So yeah, can't get any shots off. Can't even get up there when I get the ball. You know, the, the little quick Mexicans are just are just absolutely ragging my ass um, on this game. Wow! That centre back is so OP, man. He's he's a great centre back. He's pacey as well. Pacey centre back. That's why I can't get anywhere because my slow up top and slow everywhere is just slow ass, slow aids. Thank you. Got myself a goal back. Johnny boy. Johnny boy in the 70th minute. It's 3-1. Can I do anything though? I mean, this team is difficult. And this team I'm playing against is really good and fast team. It's sharp. Sharp. And so sharp I can cut butter like... Oh, lick a... Oh, sweat, but as it worked, he sweated back. Oh, it has worked, hasn't it? Yes, it would. Arellano. Arellano. 
Oh, I need to move my mic because it's breaking my back like this. Wow, and his team as well. Everything's breaking me. Oh. Hit the post. Hit the post. I think it was Riera. I mean, I've, I've already lost the game. It's obvious I've lost the game because, trust me, this team, man, is shit. But that was a good opportunity. Oh, so oh, oh, come on, EA, sort it out, geese. Oh, yes. Oh, I think, I'm not sure. Does it want to give me a goal? Like, sometimes the game wants to give me a goal, but sometimes, oh, you got to be licking ass. It wants to give him a goal. Oh, don't stop licking ass, man. Yes. I knew it. I knew it. That is the way this game goes all the time. Ah, oh, this game was built for this. Built to be a dick. That's what's up, man. Your boner after beating someone by 5-1. Ah, it's from goal. That's a red card. I was about to blame through. That's a red card. Oh, at least wanted to get a few bands for next game. All right, just whip it in, then also we can't do anything. Oh, I said whip it in. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man! There we go, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's been a bit of a formative video for you guys. Informative, sorry. Uh, this game and this team is pretty bad to play with. I've not enjoyed playing with that game. Um, that team, sorry. Anyway, guys, I'm out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for FIFA 14 videos coming up shortly. I'm out. Thank you for watching. Peace.